Today, nearly 1.5 billion people live in conflict-affected countries. The toxic cocktail of conflicts, climate change, and the COVID-19 pandemic had already exposed them to fragility. The war in Ukraine only creates wide division and multipolarity that is turning their vulnerability into a catastrophe. Alarming rate of hunger, extreme poverty, millions are displaced, regime change, and civil war are the major headlines in these countries. Labeled as the least peaceful countries in the Global Peace Index, OECD estimates 86% of the poorest will live in these countries by 2030, the timeline set to eradicate extreme poverty. A promise to build a world of health, progress and opportunity for all. A promise to leave no one behind. Established in April 2010, the G7 Plus is an intergovernmental organization of 20 countries that promote dialogue, reconciliation and effective cooperation to build and sustain peace, stability and development. The members are of the conviction that there can be no development without peace. And peace cannot be sustained where poverty exists. Hosted by Timo Leste, the G7 Plus Secretary is hosted in Delhi with a hub in, located in Lisbon. Soon we plan to uh, expand our office uh, representative in New York in order to be able to liaise with the diplomats in New York. The G7 Plus members were the key advocates for the inclusion of SDG 16, peace, justice, and strong institutions. Promoting peace and stability should continue to be central to implementing the SDGs as violence and insecurity undermine development gains. In 2011, the G7 Plus successfully negotiated the New Deal for Engagement in Fragile States. It is the G7 Plus's call to the rest of the world for a new way of engaging in situations of fragility. The G7 Plus is committed to fragile to fragile cooperation under the principles of voluntarism, solidarity, and cooperation. Under F2F, Timor-Leste aided Guinea-Bissau in conducting elections to survive democracy in 2013. It helped West African nations in tackling Ebola. It assisted Central African Republic in relocating displaced people from Bangui Airport and facilitated national dialogue between warring factions in the country. Alarmed by the democracy that are shrinking in member states, the G7 Plus launched election observation missions to help and facilitate sharing of experiences in conducting fair and free elections. The G7 Plus, together with WFP and CIPRI, co-led HDP Nexus Coalition, advocate for harmonization among peacebuilding, humanitarian and development actors to address humanitarian crises, achieve peace and food security. With the observer status at UN General Assembly, the G7 Plus is committed to voice the collective aspiration of its member states that always dream for lasting peace and sustainable development. The G7 Plus is committed to promote peaceful means to address conflicts. We aim at strengthening the G7 Plus Council of Eminent Persons to help in mediation and peace efforts of the United Nations. As the world is becoming more divided, multilateralism has never been as in demand as it is today. The G7 Plus Group calls for cooperation rooted in humane solidarity rather than national interest. Together, we can make a change.